welcome back to my channel if you guys are new to channel hello my name is Anima and welcome make sure you subscribe to my channel and like the video and share this video to the anyone who is seeking for this type of information and who are going to apply for the new grad the reason that I'm making this video is obviously when I did my new grad applying the new grad process things I struggle a lot and I always search in my in the YouTube like how to do it and to get all the information but it's really hard to find it and I'm making this video for you guys to make it a lot more easier and what are the things that you should know before you even apply for it so please subscribe and give a like and share this video okay so for those who are new to my channel okay I'm gonna do some little bit introduce myself my name is Anima I'm Tibetan who live in Australia and I did my Bachelor of Nursing in UTS and graduated back in 2020 and I got my new grad position um, in for the 2021 in a both public and private hospital and obviously I'm not gonna talk about where I'm walking and stuff because it's a confidentiality to be honest I'm just want to tell you that nowadays it's very competitive to get the new grad position because when I apply for the one of the private healthcare sitting there is like 800 students who apply and they only give a position for 20 students so which is a very competitive but I'm not saying that to stress you out I'm just saying that it's very competitive all you need to do is put an extra effort and make sure you are be more organized and time management is a very important because I know you are in the middle of your semester and doing your assignment as well as applying all the new grad things but it's okay it's just only one time period one episode then after that when you get your new grass you are done all right and also I'm gonna tell you like don't stress okay don't worry that's the why I'm here to help you and I'm gonna give you all the tips and tricks that related with the new grass thing to help you guys and make sure that you're gonna be more organized all right and uh, I got my new grass position and I'm not very like HD student or like distinction student but still I managed to get my new grad so it's all about how much you put effort in the last minute like for the resume and cover letter stuff so keep on watching this video and I'm gonna talk about all the important things all right okay so in this video I'm gonna talk about what is a new grad and where should you apply and what are the, some tips and tricks and what would you do if you don't get a new grass so all this information that I'm gonna cover in this video so if you are really person who need all that information just sit down and write it down all the tips and tricks in your book and yeah let's get started to the video first question that I'm gonna talk about is so what is a new grad and how hard is it to get a new grad for both international and domestic students so new grad program is a very significant to everyone especially for the students who have no experience as RN before and who are freshly graduated as a registered nurse so you all need to put an extra effort on your cover letter and resume all that stuff and obviously the student who already had an experience as the back in their country and if you don't get a new grad position don't worry because you can apply for the uh, registered nurse program so obviously it's gonna be a lot more challenging because you don't have that much support as a new grad student so most of new grad programs are the one year contract but some hospital and private settings they are two years so it's really depend on the different healthcare setting so the new grad program is basically like uh, there will be an educator and someone who gonna help you and teach you all that stuff right and even though like you are not not a new grad or new grad doesn't matter because nursing is all about learning every day and you can just ask the question to your senior nurses because they have a lot more experience and but to getting a new grad is obviously a little bit like competitive to all the mm, public hospital as well as the private one so after one year contract finish of the new grads or the two years so what do you have to do is basically doing all the process again like applying a job and that's where it's like kind of easier to get a job because you already had an experience as an RN1 so it's gonna be a lot more easier so once you get your new grad position honestly it's so relaxing and the best moment because you basically know your whole next year plan and that will be like kind of settled down and you don't have to stress much but if you don't don't worry because there will be a always opportunity to apply and there will be always like you know available position that they are looking for nurses and um, you can keep applying all that stuff all right 
The second question that I'm going to talk about is where and how should you apply. So in order to apply your new grad, and there will be a two different types that you have to apply both in private and public setting. So first let me talk about the public setting. So public is a lot more easier than the private setting because it's a lot more or like you know less complicated and all that stuff and less job to do. So what you need to do is check the public uh, website for the 2021 new grads thing. Just make sure click on the website. There will be some um, kind of material uh, available like related kind of the new grads thing. Uh, last year I found some booklets which basically says like when the application gonna open, when it's gonna close, when the interview process like started, all that stuff. So what you need to do is write it down in your diary when it's gonna open and when it's gonna close because that is the very important part. So based on that day, try to start your uh, resume early ASAP and uh, so resume is a very important because it's kind of basically the first process, process to getting a new grad. So if you've done a terrible like um, resume, obviously you're not gonna get the you you're not gonna get the interview process. So if you don't get the new interview, obviously you won't have the new grad thing. So um, resume is a very important for public and also for the public one. So on that exactly date when you're applying for, click the uh, link and you have to there will be a, available like five or six questions i'm not really sure but you have to answer each question for around like a hundred words and you need to do that properly as well because it's basically showing you how much you know the public settings and it's asking you about the core value and how can you bring that to you all that stuff so you need to do that research yourself and you need to do it properly because Based on these things, like the five question and your uh, resume, and they're gonna decide whether they wanna give you the uh, opportunity for interview or not. So if you are HD students back in your uni, do it. This is the right time for you to put your all effort. So after you finishing answering those five questions, the next thing is, I think uh, you will get to the page where you can select uh, nine different uh, uh, preferences, like which hospital that you wanna walk. So before you even apply, that's what I say, just write it down in your diary and think about which hospital you're gonna apply, which hospital you wanna be part of it, like you really wanna walk together. So in that preference, you can't pick the separate hospital. Like if you wanna walk in RPA, you can't put, I wanna walk in RPA, no. So it's based on like the local health district. So you have to pick up like uh, mm, Sydney local health district, like uh, Northern local health district. So you have to put the uh, local health district, uh, but there will be a certain um, like the hospital that you can put separate uh, specific one example like um, orange hospital you can put specific one and there will be a rural hospital like a waka waka you can just put that uh, specific in the preferences but based on your preferences you will get like you know interview all that started stuff so just pick the one that you really wanted in the first and then go down like based on your like you know well, once that preferences things finish and the next process will be I think submit your uh, resume so in the uh, public public healthcare setting you know you don't need the cover letter so uh, only just a um, resume is a fine so make sure that's why do your resume properly all right that's a very important and so the next thing that's let's talk about like uh, the private healthcare setting as I mentioned, private is a lot more complicated, and you need a lot of time for uh, time um, for the public thing, and do a lot of research, and make sure time management is very important because in the private, it's not about the local health district at all. It just depends on the each hospital. So if you are going to apply like a ten different private hospital, you need to write like um, ten cover letter and ten of resume like based on that hospital. Let me talk about the private thing. Example, like I'm going to apply for St. George Hospital. So what do you need to do is go to the St. George Hospital website and check about the new grads uh, information. Like make sure when the application gonna open, when it's gonna be closed and what are the things that you need to submit. Like cover letter, uh, CV, some, sometimes they ask you to submit your uh, placement forms. So 
you will get that in your placement like the website so you don't have to worry too much and sometimes like especially for the international students they maybe ask you to submit your English score which is a very important that's why you need to do your English test ASAP because if you've done your English exam that means that you have another credit to put that on all right and so go to that information check everything and make sure start your cover letter and uh, resume ASAP spend a lot of time on this as I mentioned earlier these are the very first steps that to get your new grad process so based on that dates uh, uh, application dates open make sure prior that you finish your cover letter and CV because you don't want to start those cover letter and CV right on the exact date as the application open that's a very dumb decision all right so you need to like start it um, two two three weeks before and make sure like when you do it um, ask the help for university because there will be when I did when I was in UTS there is the career hub which is a very helpful so what I did is did my resume I booked the appointment for them and they check it for my resume they give me a feedback and I keep fixing keep fixing so I basically spent almost uh, uh, three weeks for each um, like the resume and the cover letter stuff so make sure there's zero spelling mistake and no like you know just zero zero everything is zero mistake all right so make sure make it perfect so yeah these are the things that how you can apply for the public as well as the private so all i'm telling you is write it down when they're gonna apply and when the application gonna close and what are the things you need to know and prior to that day just start your cover letter and all that stuff all right so the next thing i'm gonna discuss about is like what should you do if you don't get your new grass so obviously there will be a lot of students who are gonna apply and not everyone gonna get the new grads and um, but all I'm gonna tell you is just don't worry too much don't stress much it's not end of your life so what are you gonna do is there will be another hospital like a different hospital applying in later dates around like April next year April or March so if you don't have a problem like tra travel for other states like Melbourne Queensland anywhere there will be a lot of the hospital that um, open their application around like April and stuff so you need to do the keep applying them again and again and also like if you're a domestic student international everyone like uh, if you don't get the new grads in the hospital just try to apply in the GB center because that's how they keep your practice thing and um, there's the other clinics that you can apply and age care all these process are very important so also other thing is for if you are international student and if you didn't get the new grad don't worry and if you have experience as iron just keep applying as a iron position all right I know it's gonna be a little bit more challenging but don't worry you can get through this it's better than not having a job so um, apply as a new grad position that's the how you can do it and the other thing is there will be a mid intake coming for the next year as well so you can also apply in the mid intake one so new grads is not only what one thing like you apply this year it's done no so you can apply anytime as much as you want okay the next thing that I'm gonna tell you some tips and tricks about before applying the new grads okay the first thing start your cover letter and resume like early as much as you can because that's the uh, kind of um, as I mentioned these are the very important so you need to spend time on them and and make sure they are perfect before you submit all right so do your cover letter and uh, resume as soon as possible and then keep seeking a help from the university and just keep making sure they're fixing it make sure un until there will be like zero mistake all right and the next thing is um, as I mentioned again always seek for help like uh, the university things ask them help and also check in the Google like uh, try to look for uh, the perfect like cover letter so you can just get some uh, kind of idea how to write the good cover letter how to start it and be more formal all that stuff so these are the important second tips the other tips is if you are going to when you are going to apply for the public health care settings what you need to do is if you are going to apply 10 ho uh, private hospital write it down in your diary the 10 hospital write it down when gonna when the application gonna open when it's gonna close you know requirements they need so some hospital like um, 
some hospitals they're gonna open late in April and some of them are open in March some of them are February so you based on that you need you need to start it your cover letter and stuff obviously you don't want to start it your cover letter back the one who gonna open in April all right so you need to be like based on the dates line and you need to apply that's the how it will be get easier for you so the next thing is for the private hospital when you write a cover letter just make sure that show the um, show how much you want to walk in this hospital and how much you want to be part of that hospital and also do a lot of research on that hospital like the private setting and know make sure you are familiar with their core value and everything and that's the how also that based on that information it's going to be helpful for you to write a good cover letter as well as in in the real interview it's going to make you more comfortable because you know the hospital and they may ask you about the core value of the hospital and stuff so make sure you're ready for that so yeah these are the all information in my video i just give you all the tips and tricks that you need to know so if you guys want me to create another video about the interview what types of the cushion you get or not just let me know and i'm happy to help you so if you guys have any other questions related with the new grass or any type of question just write down in the comment section or dm me in my instagram and i'm i'm happy to answer and i try my best to answer all of you so these are the information that i can give and that things that i wish i know before i apply for my new grass and i just want to say good luck to everyone and i know it's a lot of like stressing stress time it's a stress time obviously you are in the middle of your semester and try to do your assignment as well as applying for the new grads it's a very stressful but don't worry try to manage your time properly and be more organized and if you are not type of organized person like me but it's okay this is the only time that you can just force yourself to be more organized and do um, everything in the time management and then i'm sure you will get a new grads and if you don't as i said it earlier don't stress too much there will be always another chances okay and i'll see you guys in my next video